Now at 11, from handshake to shove, a real estate agent attacked. She screams and fights back, but the man gets away. And tonight, L.A. area real estate agents are getting an alert following this open house ambush. Now this is a story seen first right here on NBC4. And tonight, Rick Martinez is at the LAPD West Valley Station in Reseda with what that real estate agent is now saying about the encounter and how agents should protect themselves. Rick? Yeah, Chuck and Carolyn, right now the search continues for the attacker. And since we first aired this video on TV this afternoon, we've also learned that other real estate agents are putting out a warning to their colleagues to protect themselves, to be careful, and to be able to fight off an attacker like the woman in this video. Oh, you saw the house, you're done, that's it. A frustrated real estate agent senses something is off and takes this open house guest outside, trying to get him to leave as he tries to get her back inside. Things turn dangerous when she thinks he's about to leave. Instead, she's fearing the worst, trying to get away and screaming for help. He threw me. He's, it was all the force. She asked we protect her identity. Her gut told her not to follow the man's many requests to go back inside. He tried so many times and there is no way that he would get me inside that house and i think he's like the hell with you you know and, uh, that's why he pushed me so hard it seems her screams scared the man off the video is terrifying for diana baylor to watch it's happening every day more and more we need to be prepared she's a board member for the women's council of realtors this video is from a recent safety and self-defense class for the women's council a proactive approach to protection for realtors vulnerable to an attack it teaches you how to get away, how to uh, disable. The victim's scrapes and bruises will heal soon, but she doesn't know how she'll get over the trauma. I couldn't sleep. There's pictures in front of me every minute. And I keep watching the video and crying. And the victim tells us she recognizes the man from another open house she held last week. She says he appears to be in his 40s and is cross-eyed. Her boss actually tells us he's going to bring in self-defense experts to work with his agents moving forward. Reporting live in Reseda tonight, Rick Montanez, NBC4 News.